Hello everybody, it is me, a friendly environmental enthusiast, Mr. Masal Vada. You might have been wondering where I am, but don't worry, not to worry, I am right here. Don't miss me, Anna. I was kindly, calmly waiting for Megla and Vanessa to give one call and invite me for one more cool videos. But that don't happen only. So I thought I will make my own video. So you are welcome to my new video. Last year at this time, when the rains were raining, I was in the Western Ghats. I was looking at animals and I saw flying lizard, flying squirrel, flying snake, but my favorite was flying frog. So I have made one video regarding that one. Then I called Negla to lend her beauty voice. I did not begin that. I only simply sent her little bit of rava laddu, coffee podi, and she has agreed. So please kindly watch and enjoy the video. As the drops of rain hit the ground and the smell of petrichor fills the air in the western ghats of India, a chorus of frog calls fill the night, each call distinct from the other. The Malabar Gliding Frog, Racophorus malabaricus, is endemic to the Western Ghats. It is rather large compared to the other frogs. The fascinating thing, however, is not just the ability of this frog to glide from one branch to another. It is the foam nest in which it lays its eggs. It all starts with the smaller males advertising their presence to the much larger females with loud rhythmic calls. Once the female has made her choice of mate, the male latches onto her, behind the armpits, in an embrace known as axillary amplexus. This may last for several hours. The female then finds a suitable nest spot. It is usually above a pool of water. The females choose a leaf of a tree overhanging a water body for spawning. Usually, nests are built on treetops, but near human habitation, nests are built on walls or wells, like this one. When she is ready, the female rubs the male's back with her hind limbs to initiate the release of seminal fluids. They then beat their legs to form the foam into which pearly e white eggs are laid. Once the eggs are laid in the foam and covered in seminal fluids, the female covers the foam with surrounding leaves or debris. The foam then hardens into a protective casing. Nest building is tiresome work. The female continues to work on the nest even after the male hops off. She leaves only once she is sure that her spawn are safe. Unlike some other frog species, the Malabar gliding frogs do not guard their nests. The monsoon rains play a crucial role in the lives of the developing tadpoles. The rainwater undoes the binding material just as the tadpoles develop, allowing them to tumble into the pool of water beneath. These tadpoles then develop into the fascinating frogs that glide through treetops. Unfortunately, natural predators are not the only threat to these amazing creatures. Both predator and prey face extinction as large sections of the western guards are being destroyed. Will we see these frogs glide into the future? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you also want to get taste and try out the copy that I have bought for Megla uh, and be an environmentally conscious citizen like me, Please kindly check out Black Baza Coffee because they make biodiversity friendly coffee and it is good for the planet and the peoples who are growing it.